Carpenter, uh -huh. and my father uh, was his assistant. In the beginning of the revolution, he well, sometimes my father uh, liked to join, to join when he was a child. And after the revolution, when the government made a convocatory for the the, the, the younger, the yeah. whole for young Children. people, for yeah. young people, uh, my father went there because he loved to draw, it and he passed the proof. That's the test. Passed the test. <laughs> the last 20 years, my father has been working in this community project. All these projects have 20 years of work. It's an special project because he. He made intervention with his art to the different houses. It's a prayer that he paid himself for help his neighbor. Uh, he designed everything. At the same time, we have around 12 people working with him, a system of him. They are a constructor and they are living are living in the community. So, um, it's a prayer that uh, it's on private houses. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a democratic project. And before to make something, the owner of the houses should be accepted to participate mm -hmm. in the project. And my father asked to, to the owners, what do you like to do? And my father prepared the faucet, the idea, and began to work. Into the project we have different murals. I graduated in medical doctor, but at the same time, in my free time, all, all, all the time I make art. We work all the time. Mm. Ah, never it's always <laughs> never here. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, uh, anything yeah. here is yeah. finished. Yeah. We don't know when it will be finished. Yeah. <laughs> the artist all the time made a new creation. How many are in the team? Uh, Twelve. And you are in the team? Yes, we are a big team. And my father designed everything and he's the, he's the director. We live in, in the house around 40 years, and this project began 20 years ago. Uh, I am a medical doctor, and I was born into the art. When I was a child, I played to in the ceramics uh, factory. My father worked there, together with another artist. For example, Sosa Bravo. He's a very important Cuban artist. Panama, in Panama, uh, in Paraninfo University, in the University of Panama, uh, my father made sculptures, and in Dominican Republic. And everything that you're doing here, uh, does it cost money? <laughs> no, it's, free. it's a project free for everybody, open. But it costs para, para ustedes, it cuesta dinero. It's a very expensive project. We paid the project. The family? Yes. Fooster's 
art is world renowned, and they they the little watercolors may sell for anywhere from sixty to a hundred. The uh, oil paintings may go anywhere from four hundred to a couple of thousand. And instead of just pocketing all of the money that he's earned as an artist, he has invested it in the community. So anybody who needs or wants something of his art, or needs their roof repaired, or anything like that. That they pay for that out of what he gets as an artist. It's his way of paying back to the community. Do you work with um, children in the schools to teach them art? Sometimes I, I receive the children uh -huh. around uh, six times a week, a month. 85% we buy the new tiles. And break because it's art and we need beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. When the the people uh, throw throw away. lost throw away the piece of tiles, normally it's not very beautiful tiles. <laughs> uh, and we we need to buy them with the red colors, the blue, the, the bryant for the art. And we buy it here in Cuba and outside of Cuba. Is there a tradition in, in Cuba of um, mosaic work? From no, before? no, no. He's a pioneer. He's not a uh, So he, he started was, out with ceramics, right? Yeah, yeah my father worked the, the ceramic sculpture for hmm. many years. So he was a young pioneer. <laughs>